In the previous lessons of this regular expression course, we have looked at the terms used in regular expression, flags, also the syntax for creating regular expressions. And in the previous lesson, I mentioned that we would start looking at advanced regular expressions. But before that, I would like to first explain how a regular expression works behind the hood. What you should know is that a regular expression is just a string. It's just a group of characters that defines a pattern. You can define patterns like string followed by symbol, symbol followed by numbers or different form of patterns and as we saw in the previous lessons we saw simple patterns like name code now this is just a pattern a group of characters that forms a pattern what actually applies this pattern to a string is what we call a regex engine a regex engine is responsible for finding the parts of a string that matches the pattern which you have defined so your programming languages like javascript python java and the rest they all have have regex engines behind the hood which executes the regular expressions or regex patterns that you define. Now there are two major types of regex engines. You have the backtracking regex engines and the finite state regex engines. In this course we're going to focus on backtracking regex engines as that is the most common implementation in programming languages. Here is what happens when executing regular expressions with backtracking regex engines. When you apply a regular expression to a string, the engine does a search through the string from left to right and what happens is that it starts searching from the beginning until it encounters the first token or you can say the first character in the string that matches the first character in your pattern and let's see an example let's say you have a pattern like this code using the literal notation and we have a string like she is coming to school to code but i could not come to code now you have this pattern you have this string here is how the backtracking rejects engine would work so in our pattern we have a C. I'm just going to put a little arrow there. Now what this engine is going to do is that it will start searching like I said from left to right from the beginning of the string to the end and in its search it's going from left to right. It is going to be looking for the first token or the first character which we have in our pattern and that is C. So when it comes to this point here it finds a C and this C is at position 7. Right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. When you count from 0 from the beginning this is at position 7. So now that the engine has found a C, next up in our pattern is O. So the engine now is going to check from this C, is this C followed by an O and then it comes to this point. So let me just put something here to say this is where the C is. And it comes to this point here and sees that there is an O here. Okay, things are looking good so far. Now the engine checks this pattern again. What do we have here? We have a D. Now the engine checks, is there a D after O which is COD? Call of Duty, see what I did there? Anyways, so it checks if this is a D and then when it comes here, it sees that, oops, this is not a D. This is an M and M is not D. So at this point, the regex engine knows that this substring or this part of the string is not a match because as you can see, we have C, O, but we do not have D. Instead, we have M. So at this point here, this is where the backtracking would happen. As the engine already knows that this is not a match, then the engine, let me just take all of this away. Wait, oops, <laughs> let me take this away and take this away and this and this arrow and this arrow so at this point here the engine would backtrack remember it was at point m the engine now would backtrack to c which was where it paused as it found a potential match well since that wasn't a match the engine would continue searching from here so it would keep going looking for a c it's going from here from here from here this is s c h o o l while editing this video i realized that i skipped the c in school s C. But the same thing that applies with COM would also apply in this case. This is not a C. Oh, finally, here is a C. Again, remember, this is the first character we have in our pattern. This is the C. Now the engine is going to check for the second character, which is an O. Let me put something here. C, O. Okay, it has found an O. The next thing is going to check is a D. C O D. <laughs> and then it finds a D here. Ah, we are almost there. The engine is like, we're almost there. We're getting there. And then next up, we have an an E, which is this, and then the engine checks, is there an E here? Well, 
there is an E. So finally, the engine has found a match. Our pattern says C followed by O followed by D followed by E. And the engine has found a substring which actually follows that pattern C followed by O followed by D followed by E. So now that the engine has found an exact match, an exact substring for our pattern, the engine is going to stop searching. So if we try this on our Regex website, you can see we have the code pattern COD here and we have this string here and you can see that this code is matched. But one thing you notice here is that this other code is not matched. Now if you remember in the flags lesson, we mentioned that regular expressions have default behaviors and one of those default behaviors is that the regular expressions or the Regex engine would only return the first match, the first substring that matches the pattern that we have defined. Now if we want all the matches in a string, then this is where we change that default behavior using the G flag, the global flag. So coming back here, let's say we have a G here. Now what happens is that after the regex engine has already found this substring and it knows that it is a match, uh, let me quickly put an arrow at the top here. As it has found this match, the G flag is used. It says global, find more occurrences. The regex engine would continue searching from E here where it has stopped. So it's going to start searching let's say there is a space here going to start searching from there and then it will continue searching for another C remember at the beginning of our pattern we have C so it's going to start searching it goes and then it comes here it sees a C it checks is an O followed by that C oh there is an O followed by the C okay everything looking nice let's see where this leads to then in our pattern we have D is this followed by D uh, nope this is not followed by D so the rejects engine knows this part of the substring is not a match let's look for another potential match so backtracking would happen here again why do i keep deleting this string so backtracking would happen here again the engine would backtrack to the point where it found that first c and then from that point it's going to continue searching and it's looking for a c and an o oh it finds a c okay there is an o that follows it but is there a d oh not a d the engine backtracks again to c and then it continues searching and searching and searching and then it comes to this point oh here is another c let's hope that this is a match and then it checks is this followed by o oh yes it's followed by o is this followed by d yes it's followed by d is this followed by e remember this is coming from our pattern here yes it is followed by e so the engine now knows that we have two matches remember the first match is here and then this is the second match now because we have the global flag the engine would continue searching until the end of the string to find every match but because this string ends here then the engine now knows that it can stop searching. So by default, a regex engine searches through a string and it returns the first match. But when we have the G flag, which changes that default behavior, then after it finds the first match, it would look for the second match. After that, it would look for the third and it would look for every match possible until it gets to the end of the string. So this is how backtracking regex engines works. And programming languages, like I said, Python, Java, PHP, JavaScript, they all use this regex engine implementation behind the hood in the background. Remember, your regular expression is just a group of characters that defines a pattern and the regex engine is what is responsible for applying that pattern to a specific string to get the substrings in that string that matches the pattern you have defined. It is important to understand this concept as we progress in this course. So I hope this is now clear to you. Let me know in the comments if this was simple enough to understand, if you now understand how regex engines works behind the hood. But now that that is out of the way, let's now look at interest and advanced ways for creating regular expressions.